Hello, and welcome to Let's Go to Orbit, an introduction to Stellar Explorers. We, the Stellar Explorer staff, wanted to provide a quick overview of what the Stellar Explorer's National Space Design Program is. We'll also be going over what it is like as a competitor and as a team director. Here is our email address if you would like additional information after this session is over. The Stellar Explorer's National Space Design Competition is a team-building, problem-solving exercise that challenges students to think critically about space and realistic scenarios that current aerospace engineers approach on a daily basis. No prior experience is required, and there are plenty of resources, such as study guides and training scenarios, available on our website. Now we'll take you through what the competition consists of. The Stellar Explorers National Space Design Competition takes place from October to April. The primary participants of the competition are high schoolers, but we do occasionally have some middle schoolers jump on for the challenge. Throughout the season, there are three qualifying rounds, one semifinal round, and one final round of graded competition. Before each qualifying round, you will have the opportunity to practice the skills required for the qualifying round, and performance during the practice rounds does not impact your scoring or standing in the competition. The first round focuses on orbit planning, where you will use STK, or Systems Toolkit, to create the most optimized orbit for the task. Round two is satellite design, and you pick the components that will be on the satellite, doing your best to meet mission requirements. The third round is launch operations, where you will look at launch vehicle options and make decisions based on performance charts and getting the satellite to the correct inclination based on where it launches from on the Earth's surface. Semifinals takes two of these concepts from the three rounds, and finals challenges students to balance all three skills from the qualifying rounds. Qualifying and semifinal rounds are done locally, and the competition period for each round begins at the team's chosen start time, lasting for the next six hours. If you would like to let competitors participate virtually or in person, both options are available during these rounds. Our national finals is held in person, and it will be at Space Center Houston for Stellar Explorers 8. If you participated before, we wanted to highlight that there have been a few changes to the registration process in competition advancement. The registration fee for Title I schools, Civil Air Patrol, JROTC, and Naval Sea Cadet teams is waived for Stellar Explorers 8. For high school teams, there is a $200 registration fee for the first team, $100 for the second team, and no registration fee for the third, fourth, and fifth teams. As for advancement to semifinals, teams move on from the qualification rounds based on their performance and is combined into a weighted score. Now qualification round one makes up 20%, qualification round two makes up 35%, and qualification round three makes up 45% of the weighted score. At semifinals, everyone's performance is wiped clean and will compete on a level playing field. To proceed to the national finals, teams must be one of the top 10 performers during semifinals. In the event of a tie, the Stellar Explorer staff will take the qualification round performances into consideration. Let's discuss who can be on a Stellar Explorer's team. To compete, Teams are composed of two to six high school, and in some cases middle school, students. For registration and adult supervision, each team is required to have one team director. If there are multiple teams coming from the same school or participating organization, then a team director may have up to five teams under their supervision. Team directors do not need to have previous experience with STK or the concepts competitors are challenged with but we do have some training videos on the Stellar Explorers website that will take you through the basics of navigating STK. If you are experienced in STK or would like to support a team by sharing your knowledge and experience with topics related to the competition, then you may sign up to serve as a technical mentor. Regardless of if you have a team in mind to work with, you may sign up to serve as a technical mentor. If you already have a team, then you would fill out this survey and indicate you are already working with a team. If you do not know of any teams in your area, we will do our best to pair you up with one that is local to you. If you would like to have a technical mentor, we will be posting updates on our website about teams requesting a technical mentor. 
Technical mentors can come from anywhere. For example, an engineer from Lockheed Martin may support a few teams once every two weeks, mentoring them on the problem-solving process in STK. Thank you for listening to our Stellar Explorers 8 overview. If you have any questions or would like more information, or even register for Stellar Explorers 8, please check out our website.